Use case number 21. Whenever a contact record is created, fetch billing address from the parent account and save it in the billing address field on the contact record. Right? So every time the record is created on the contact level, we want to fetch the information from its parent account and put it on the contact uh, record. Right? So this means we are trying to update the same record. Right? So this can be achieved in the before insert context. Okay? So we don't have to save the uh, record in the database. We can put some field updates and then save it. Right? Now first thing I would want to check is, is billing address available on both the objects? Let's go ahead and check it. So if I go to file and I say objects and I say account, I have billing information available here. Right? But what about the contact object? Let's see. So I don't see the billing information, billing address on the contact level. Rather, I have something that's called the mailing address, right? So let's modify the scenario a bit and I'll just call this mailing address, okay? So we want to save the billing address from the parent account to the mailing address on the contact level, okay? Let's go ahead and write this trigger. So this would be on the contact record. I would open the contact trigger and this would be the before insert context. Do I have a contact trigger? Yes, I do. I already have a before insert context. Where is it? Before insert and I already have a method, right? Let's open this and let's see handle before insert. So this is handle after update. This is handle after insert. This is handle before insert, right? So we are throwing some error based on some situation, right? If the last name and the email matches. But now what we want to do is we want to save. If, if this is not the case, we want to save the record, right? So I leave this check as is and I'll iterate over my contact records here for this fresh use case. So I'll say for each con record in new records, what do I have to do? I have to fetch the parent account and from the parent account, I want to fetch the billing address, right? So I'll simply say account IDs dot add con dot account ID. Now why do I need it? I need it to query the billing address from the account records. Right, so I'll just say list of ID account IDs equal new list ID close. Okay, now that I have the account IDs, I'll qu uh, query my account object. I'll say select billing street, billing city, billing state, billing country, billing zip maybe from account where id in account ids okay and this would return me the list of account records what account records billing account records or we can say parent account records okay i'll say save let's see if these fields are correct there is the problem with billing zip i believe yeah so this should be billing postal code maybe let's see save or else i'll refer the yeah this is postal code okay so i'm just fetching these values i'll just say id comma uh, i might have missed a value or two but street city state country and postal code i have just taken these five values okay now i have the list of account records do i also need to ensure that i have a contact versus account map i might need it right so that's okay i'll, I'll figure it out when i need it I'll go ahead and start iterating one more time and for each record now I need to check right whether the contact in question right now the account ID matches the account ID from one of these records if it does then I'll map the field values right so in order to do that I'll use a map so I'll say con ID versus account map dot put con dot ID comma con dot account ID okay let's see how does this help us save and i'll just create this map here id comma id because both are holding ids so i'll just say new map id comma id okay and i'll just copy this map here and i'll paste it here say save this error should go away yeah and now there is an error here so what is this this is con records it should be new records right they should not be con records because we are iterating over new records this is the name of the variable so i'll say save again this error should also go away on 75 yeah now this error is here so i would say
if con id versus account map dot get con dot id now how do i compare my how do i compare the account records that i have in this list and what i have on this id right on this map so instead i can create one more map and then that is what i can use or let me think how should i be able to use just one loop and do it right i am iterating over the con records and what i want to do is i want to do con dot mailing mailing street equal to account dot mailing street now i want to see which account and to see which account i need to ensure that the account that is the parent of this particular contact in question is the one right so if i say con id versus map dot get con dot id is equal to equal to con dot account id will this help let me just think it through so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to say whatever i have on the map dot get con dot id is equal to equal to con dot account id this will not help me why because i still don't have the entire account information where will i get the uh, account uh, information it is in the billing account records list right this information is what i need right and i don't have a way to get it so i should be able to create a map and i can just create a map that's called id comma account what if i try doing something like this let's see right so this is saved so i am successfully able to write a circle and immediately post it into a map of type id comma account now this will always hold the account id and this will hold the account record so i don't need this list anymore okay and now i have the account record map okay now let's see i'll say if account record map dot contains key con dot account id right that means there exists an account record with all the billing information which is a parent of an a contact record and that contact is currently in question right so i can say con dot mailing city is equal to what should be how should i uh, filter out the right account i have to filter out by saying account record map dot get con dot account id dot billing address billing city and this is the right way to map your fields so all your fields can be mapped right so i'll say mailing street will be equal to billing street right and i'll say the same for the remaining three fields so i'll say mailing postal code equals billing postal code and then i'll say billing country should be mapped to the mailing country did i miss anything i have city i don't have the state right so i'll just copy one more time this should be mailing state equals to the billing state save okay do i have to put any kind of uh, insert or dml statements i don't because this is the before context so it will automatically be saved okay let's test it out i'll go to contacts i'll take a look at user 1 right and this is associated to community test account so i'll open this test account go to details do i have the billing information here let's see i don't have the billing address so i'll just populate the billing address saying 26th main right so i'll just save it with the billing address now the parent account has a billing address okay i'll go to related and i'll create a new contact because as soon as the contact is created it should get the information from the parent right so let's go ahead and create a new contact here and i'll give it a name address copy cat right and let's say save so this saved up fine and if i open address copy cat and if i take a look at the detail section i see that the mailing address has been populated with the billing address of the parent account cool so our use case and our, our framework is working perfectly fine the only reason i needed a map is because i have to 
do I need this map anymore? I don't, right? So I can get rid of this map because I used the map concept here instead of writing a query and putting it in a list. So you see how you can use a list, uh, you can use a circle and that circle can directly be put into a map and that map would be of type record ID comma this object. So you'd automatically create it by using a circle. So that's another enhancement or another bulkification that helps you easily. I didn't have to create that map here. Then I would have to write the for loop and all of that thing, right? So I could simply create a map using the circle and I could use this particular map, map to check if the uh, account ID is part of this particular query. And if it is, then I could just get the information and get the relevant field information. That's all. Cool. So that was use case 21.